Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best, fancy, fancy, ultra giant test location in the southwest of England. Now, many of you who are around the guitar community will no doubt be aware of Chibson, and Chibson have done a thing recently which creeps into my area of the internet. On April 1st this year, uh, they decided to release uh, a reverb page for this giant plectrum uh, that they were going to make uh, based on the Dunlop 351. Now, of course, it'd be completely wrong for me to not get my hands on one of these. They are, in fact, uh, just about to ship out their second wave of them, but I have one of the first. Here she is. Now, this is anatomically speaking, still a 351, it's just much, much larger. Uh, it's round about the sort of um, five or six inch mark uh, lengthwise and everything. Here is a Dunlop 0.46 over the top of it. As ridiculous as this clearly is, I thought the best thing I could do would be to see if I could still use it as a plectrum. Now, of course, now of course, anything is a plectrum if you're brave enough, so the old saying goes, but the sheer size of this thing kind of makes it a little bit impractical. However, because I am at your beck and call uh, as the front lines of picks in the Plectroverse, I still think it's worth trying to play with this because it is, to all in intents and purposes, a Plectrum. So I'm going to get my electric out and see how difficult it is to play with this, uh, mostly for your amusement rather than anything else. But should you find that you're interested in one of these, I don't know if they're still available, uh, they only made a very small number of them. So uh, this is your chance to see what one is like in a practical sense. So let's see if I can do this, if I can do a line and then play it with a giant bit. <laughs> So what's it like to play with? Well, it's hard, but not impossible. It's just so floppy and long. But the important thing is, is that this, this in my, oh, it's nice. It's very hot in here. It's a little bit like a stretch limo. You, you don't need to have that. This is obviously not meant for actual use. That would be stupid. However, I think it's wonderful that this exists because it got me thinking about how, I, when I play really thick plectrums, like uh, this old hands picks one, which is like 12 millimeters. That's thick, but it's not enormous because you're still playing with a wee tiny tapered point. This is genuinely massive and it's, it's, it's just fantastically fun. I've never showed this to anyone inside or outside the plectroverse who hasn't smiled. And that is kind of the whole point of the exercise. Like this, this sort of stuff, it's like big comedy shoes or a giant cuddly toy or something. Like it's it's not meant to be taken seriously, but this was, uh, in its initial run at least, this was to help with the COVID crisis, and that's partly why I put the money towards it. Obviously, I wanted a giant pick, um, but I think it was going to a worthy cause as well. I'd like to commend Chibson for the fact that they went all in with it because they could have done something. Um, they could have, you know, made it smaller than that, and it would still have been. You know, even three times the size of a normal pick, it would have been quite the thing, but that's many, many, many times over bigger. And I love the fact that they kept the dimensions pretty much the same. So it's a very faithful thing. It's a very loving tribute in a way to a pick that's uh, universally recognized by musicians and non-musicians alike the world over. So if you've got your hands on one of those, or if you are waiting to receive your giant pick, that's what it's like. That's exactly how it plays. That's what you've got to look forward to. Um, I'll be back 
next week with more information from the Plectroverse. I'm doing my very first unboxing video uh, and I'm going to be taking out uh, a gold envelope of stuff from BHL. Uh, so if you are in any way interested in that, do check it out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check out the Patreon and all the rest of it if you want to support the channel. Uh, and I'll be back in due course. But in the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson. This is heavy repping and I shall see you soon. So just remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard and rep heavy.